As part of efforts to ensure food security in the country, the military says troops are now providing security to farmers. Director of Defense Media Operations, Major General Edward Boba, who failed to provide the details, explains that the action of troops will help them dominate ungoverned spaces, especially where farming activities take place. In another development, General Boba said troops have rescued 1,993 kidnapped victims in various operations nationwide. For more on this development, senior reporter Sifon Isin joins me on the news this hour. Uh, Sifon, it does sound like a breath of fresh air to hear military authorities talk about troops protecting farmers as they engage in farming activities in their farms. Bring us up to speed on this development. All right, we'll come to Sifon later, but in a related development, about 1, 189,250 farmers in Adamawa, Borno, and Yobe states are to get farm inputs from the Food and Agriculture Organization for the 2024 farming season. But this comes as Governor Ahmadu Fintiri declared that no part of the state is under the stronghold of Boko Haram terrorists. Senior reporter Wolabi Adenusi filed in the story. Before now, about seven local governments in Adamawa state were in the hands of Boko Haram terrorists. They displaced thousands of residents of the farming communities. But now, Governor Fintiri is the happiest man because all occupied territories in the state are back under government's control. What that means is that farmers can return to their various homes for farming activities. All, all our communities are, are safe and peaceful and our people are living there. Uh, even the bare local governments of Michika and Madagan, uh, Gombe uh, and the rest of it. Uh, I think all our people have gone back there. Flagging of the distribution exercise in Geri local government, Mr. Dominic FAO's Nigeria's and ECOWAS representative says the intervention followed the seeming escalation of food insecurity in the country. The support comes in the context of escalation of food insecurity in the country. In other words, mainly, we target to reach 6,000 households, profiting 4,000 individuals across 17 wards in Guyu, Madagali, Michika, and Gure LGA. In his remark, Governor Akmodo Fintiri alluded to the fact that the collaboration was a significant milestone in the effort to transform agriculture in the states and the northeast region at large. He was represented by the State Commissioner for Agriculture, David Jatau who commended the FAO for the support. The FAO support has been instrumental in helping to be resilient, resilient in our agricultural sector. One of the beneficiaries, Hali Lubello, appreciated FAO and the state government for the initiative. We really thank FAO, we thank all organizations, we thank the government, the cabinet, we thank everybody for the effort. I want to seize this opportunity to thank you, to thank you, to thank you once again for choosing the local government, especially the Lamba, to distribute this rainy season inputs to our farmers. The intervention is supported by the European Union Civil Protection and Humanitarian Aid Operation, USAID, Norway Foreign Ministry, and Swiss Development and Cooperation.